Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Norwich station today. This is what's known as Norwich Fort, but now it's the only station in Norwich, so just plain Norwich. We're getting one of these trains, the Stadler Fleur, up to Sheringham, another one just pulling in, to go to the Wells Harbour Minutes Railway. It's a Minutes Railway, which unfortunately is going to close soon, so I'm kind of having to make a bit of an emergency visit. But first, for those of you who don't know what these trains are like inside, we're going to show you. So these are the new units which are on these lines replace the Sprinters Turbo Stars. It's quite unusual for UK because you know, there's a step up, so when I go on them, I like to sit. I can't exactly call it upstairs, but I'll stare in one of these slightly raised tables. I'm not such a huge fan of new trains, um, but I do like these ones. They're different, they're a bit more exciting, and um, they also seem to be quite well made, other than some of the other new trains you've got. But the, the one really different thing about these ones is that they have like a little, almost like a locomotive in the middle which you walk through. So they're electric and diesel. So on today's journey, it's only going to be running on diesel, which will come from here. You can't class it as a locomotive really though, because you can walk through. To me, a locomotive has to be a vehicle on a train, which you cannot walk through. If we have a look out the window over there, you can see that is what it looks like on the outside. So this is um, the space for bikes or wheelchair, there's a toilet. That's funny, there's a, so there's another toilet. There's two toilets on the train, but they're next to each other. I mean, that's the one that would, you know, allow a disabled person. It's just, excuse the pun, but a bog standard toilet. So, let's walk through. There's another raised, raised up table, so I'll probably sit on one of them. Um, we'll just go outside have a look at the front of the trains. This is a free car unit, some of them are four car units and um, I should also just show you while we're here, it's a bit windy, over there that's the, um, they're the trains that work to Norwich, you've also got similar ones which work to Stansted Airport, except the Stansted ones don't have first class and then um, they haven't quite got rid of sprinters in the Norwich area because there's two 158s there and a 156 so they're the sprinters which are used by East Midland Railway on their trains over to Liverpool Lime Street. It's always confusing here because you've got trains to Liverpool Lime Street, London Liverpool Street. So I wonder if you've ever had London people ending up in Liverpool or Liverpool passengers ending up in London. Charters are they probably wouldn't actually get to the destination. But they might realise when they're going through Fetford or Brandon that they're supposed to be passing through Chelmsford or Ipswich. So let's get on this train and um, ride up to Sheringham where I've got to get a bus to get to Wells. Welcome to this service for Sheringham. We will be calling at Worsted, North Walsham, Gunton, Ratham Road, Cromer, West Brunton and Sheringham. The next stop will be Worsted. here at Sheringham, had a quite enjoyable trip up the line. We reversed at Cromer and um, now I've got to go and find the bus. Across the road of course is the North Norfolk Railway which um, unless I have to wait for the bus I'm probably not going to do today um, because I've been told there aren't that many buses so really I do need to get to um, Wells to do the Wells Harbour Railway of course. We can hear the diesel engine not too loud though, not as old as if it was say an older loco hauled diesel engine. So yeah, I'd like to have done the Wells and Welshingham Railway today, but um, if I was to do both really I would have needed to have come up here in the car. Beyond here, the track does carry on to join up with the North Norfolk Railway, but it's only occasionally used and um, there appears to be cars parked on the track, so it's very very unlikely we're going to see a train going that way today. I'm going to start walking quite quickly now though, because I can see bus and it might just be my bus. I suppose though, if I do miss it um, we'll probably go and uh, I'll probably go and watch the train on the North Norfolk Railway but um, there's not that many buses that's the problem with up here so I really do need to make it so well, there's a, well I'm not there. So this is the connection between the two railway lines. Right I'm gonna run ahead now and see if that is my bus. It might not be so I might be um, rushing for nothing but 
at this shore. So, oh, it's gone. So if that was my bus, I might be waiting here a while. But as I said, we are at the home of the North Norfolk Railway. arrived in Wales next to sea and it has just started to rain. The harbour and the sea is that way so that is obviously where we're going to head for to see the Wales Harbour Railway and have a trip on it. I just um, caught my eye this way there, there's a big screen area. I have been to this town when I was little because um, I've actually been a bit annoyed that we went to the beach but for some reason we didn't go on the railway. I even remember being in the, in the car and seeing the train going along. So, um, not been on the railway before. I kind of um, wish we had though when I was a child, but this seems like a, a nice place. So, the problem though is with this railway, it's gonna close soon. So that's why I've had to come up here today because if I don't do it this year, I may never get to do it. You know, there's always a chance when they talk about closing railways, they might just be saved, um, but you don't really know until it happens. So what we're gonna do, we're going to, well, I'm going to have to walk off in that way through the town centre to find the little railway station. There would have been um, a standard gauge railway here once, which the track bed is now occupied by the Wells and Welshingham Light Railway, which is a video for another day. I'd like to do that today, but I think with the buses, if I try and do that, I might get stuck here. It's a nice place to get stuck, but um, yeah, it's not really my plan. So it, Wells and Welshingham's not an emergency. I can do that any time, but Wells Harbour has to be done well. As soon as possible really so I'm gonna walk off um, and find it but I'll just leave you with one last view of the village green. Here we are I've walked down through the town centre to Wales Harbour and as you can see all the boats the old and the old um, warehouses the modern pleasure boats you can actually get on a pleasure boat and go for a boat ride out to sea I believe and um, but I'm not gonna do that today because I said got to get that last bus back to showing them but we can have a look you can see I do like that old warehouse of the the um, loading bay coming right out over the road so you'd be able to load from the river into the warehouse way above the road that's quite cool looking out across there so the sea is that way there's this bank all along here and um, from what I remember the railway is on the other side of the bank so to come up here I can see some signs saying Norfolk Coast Bar that'd be a nice thing so, oh yeah and there it is the Wells Harbour Railway it says for Pinewoods and the beach so I'm not going to the beach today but I'm going to get the train to the beach station so let's go down there oh it's getting windy it's windy this side of the bank and have a look at the station and um, we'll wait for the train to arrive but it really is getting windy so um, yeah it might be one of these videos I'll try and shout as much as I can when it's windy it's died down a bit now um, so let's have a look the railway is open today it costs £1.50 to go on that's a single fare so I'm also going to want a return so as for this railway it opened um, in the 1970s that's interesting tiny little turntable there. so it can obviously only accommodate a rather small loco. So the train will pull in, the loco will have to be parked on this turntable, which um, we shall see very soon. And there will be a locomotive on the front. So what I've got to do now is wait in this wind and the rain for the train to arrive. So when I was a child and I came here, I was in a car like that, well not actually that sort of car, I was in a Renault Savannah but we drove down to the beach and I, like I said I remember seeing the train and being a bit disappointed that we didn't go on the train but I'm sure my parents had their reasons. It was nicer weather than this, it wasn't raining. As for the railway then, the railway opened in 1976, I'm sheltered behind these trees while it rains, you have to shelter under here and um, hope, hopefully the train will be back soon. So. Railway opened in 1976 with a steam locomotive. Funny enough, the steam locomotive we saw at Hastings Miniature Railway on the last Miniature Railway Britain episode. So here is a picture of that locomotive. So that locomotive ran here, but I had it at Hastings a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
so interesting. It seems to be, I seem to be literally going in the same tracks that locomotive. So, over to 1976, but in 1978 it was closed when for six months because flooding damaged the railway. And ever since then, it was, it was then reopened in the July of 1978. It's run a reliable service, and as recently as I think 2014, it had a new locomotive built by Alan Keith, which I'm reliably informed is out today. So that's probably the locomotive we're gonna have. It's really rather a shame they do want to close it. It belongs to the Holcomb Hall estate. And what they've said is that they would like to find a more safer, which I don't agree with, and up-to-date solution to getting people to the beach. So I'm thinking, well, you know, a miniature railway, it's very, very safe. It's like, you know, what, what goes wrong with a miniature railway? It's certainly safer than the road. The only thing I can really think of that could be better is maybe if they built like a, a tramway of some sort. But to me, unless it, if it's not going to run on rails, whatever the replacement's going to be, it's not going to be any better. But let's just hope, you know, as has happened with various miniature railways, I've gone to in the past that we're going to close it just ends up not closing so I really hope that is the case but I still felt I had to make this visit today because if I didn't the railway may close and I've never had a ride on it or recorded it for posterity so I'm going to wait now the rain is sort of easing off and um, hopefully soon the little train will arrive and I shall get the trip that I've waited to do ever since I was a child
station is just there on the other side of those trees. I've come across the road up here and this is the view, rather spectacular. So the harbour itself was up there by the town and then you've got the sea right out there and there's um, holiday park as well so if you were staying at that holiday park you could get the train in and out of town. One thing I'm going to do now though is seeing as the railway goes to the beach I got completely soaked at the other end, um, but the sun's come out now, so I thought we might as well go and have a look at the actual sea itself. Hopefully the weather will stay brightened up and might actually even dry off by the time I go to get the train back, but then once we've been over to the sea, I'll come along and have a ride back and um, may well be the last time I ever do this line. It does seem sort of rather strange though, they've got such a new loco, the loco we travelled behind the Duke, I believe was only built in about 2014 by Alan Keith, so um, no doubt if the railway does close the Duke will have a career at another miniature railway somewhere, so it's not probably the last chance you ever get to ride behind that loco, that, that will go on, it will find new work, but let's just hope, you know, like has happened with other miniature railways, that will freshen with closure, it doesn't happen, but at this stage I don't know, and um, you know, if you do want to come and visit the Wells Fargo Railway, filming this now in summer 2021, you probably ought to come quite soon. Well, I hope if you are watching it, it might be this time. I hope it's still here. Just like I have at the moment. I don't know. The only other thing would be quite cool is if it could... Um, well, it ends there. It's just up there. It went a bit further. Maybe that's why I'm thinking back. When I came here when I was a child and I said how... Um, you know, um, my parents, we, they drove us down to the beach. That is probably why, because they probably didn't want to, you know, I've got three sisters, so to walk along here, four children and all the buckets and spades, I can see kind of why we perhaps didn't get the train. And um, although still, I think we should have had a ride on it before or afterwards. But anyway, um, so yeah, so if the railway could not close and be extended along here, that could be, you know, the solution to getting people to the beach in a better way, but, you know, they say they want to find something better and more up-to-date. The only other thing I can think of is a tramway or a different form of railway, a narrow-gauge railway, maybe. I don't know, so I'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to keep walking down until I've seen the beach. Yeah, here we are. We've made it to the beach. I do quite distinctly remember building a stone castle here on this beach as a child and it's come back to me now there's this channel here which um, I remember swimming in that the actual sea where the waves are breaking is really quite a long way out um, I'm not going to walk that far I don't know it's very, very vast this beach 
realise just how vast it is. It's pretty big. So yeah, it's a big space. Um, wouldn't like to be here though to die again quickly. So this is where the um, railway nearly takes you to. So what I think I'll do, I'm going to have a bit of a wander along and then I'll, there's a cafe, so I'll probably go and have a coffee, go back to the station and get the train back to Wells Harbour. So I've got a head back to over there. I must have After my walk on the beach, just had lunch in a cafe down there. There's a new structure being built here. I'm in mean, your lifeboat station. There's a lifeboat station there. I'm now going to walk back along here a little way to the lifeboat station to get the train back in land to Wells.
unfortunately it's raining again. Um, so I've got about an hour to wait for my bus in the rain. I'm gonna watch the train go past one more time and um, I might have to go and find a pub or somewhere where I can wait in the dry. So I got soaked at the beginning of this video, went for a walk on the beach, the sun came out, I dried off and here I am getting soaked again to see the train go past. Well, probably will be the last time I'm ever going to see this. Obviously the loco and carriages will go somewhere else. I had a chat with the staff, they're very friendly. They said, oh here comes the train. Um, I'll let you watch that go past. passengers all in their raincoats. Um, I didn't have time to put my raincoat on because if I did, I've got a raincoat in here, if I put it on I wouldn't have had time to film the train so I've kind of got to get soaked. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you do want to come and visit this railway, if you're watching this video um, in summer 2021, you've got till about mid-September, I don't know the exact date, but you haven't got long to come and see this railway. You never know, things might change so you might be watching this in a year's time and it might still be here. It might be a different railway. We might have a narrow gauge rail or tramway, I don't know, but they say some form of new solutions coming to get people to the beach. And as disappointed as I am the railway closing, I will be interested to see what they do replace it with. But um, I just somehow, at the moment, don't think it's going to be anything quite as fun as a miniature railway, because really what is more fun than a miniature railway to take you to the beach? I certainly prefer Miniature Railways to Fun Fair, and I'm not, not going to the Fun Fair today. I need to uh, make my way out the wind back to the harbour. So I hope you uh, back to the town centre to get the bus. This is the harbour. I hope you enjoyed this video though. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, uh, the things I do to get these videos out, walking around in the rain like this. Um, but anyway, from the Wells Harbour Railway, which um, I think does have the smallest turntables I've ever seen in width, track 10 and a quarter inch gauge in length. Should have bought a tape measure of it. Uh, from Wales Harbour Railway, thank you for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and goodbye.